Hello and welcome. Today we're working on the solvency ratios in financial analysis. So how do we calculate them, the formulas, and some examples. If you're new, my name's Jeff from Finally Learn. We're teaching the financial ratios right now in all the different categories. So we have POMS is the way you remember the different categories. Profitability are profit measures. Activity or efficiency ratios are another category. Liquidity is the idea of short-term liabilities. Do we have the ability to pay off our short-term debts? And then we have market-related or market price uh, ratios. But today we're working on solvency, the ability to pay our long-term debt. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at, I've got a income statement from a little company. And so we have the income statement, we have sales and cost of sales and gross profit. But we're going to need just a couple of things here. We're going to need operating income and interest expense for some of our formulas. And then when we look at the balance sheet, here's our assets section. We're going to need total assets. And then we're going to need total liabilities. So here's all the liabilities that we have. And then we're going to need total equity or stockholders equity, shareholders equity. So the solvency ratios relate to long-term debt. So here's what I did. I just copied these numbers over here. So here's what our, our total assets are based on the balance sheet and our total liabilities and total equity for two different years. And you remember the accounting equation where the assets plus the equity, I'm sorry, the assets have to equal liabilities plus equity. These two liabilities and equity have to equal the total assets. So I'm just did a check to make sure that we really remember this and also to make sure I didn't mess up any, any numbers. And then we grabbed from the income statement, let's go back and look at that. We grabbed the earnings before interest and taxes, sometimes called operating income, and we grabbed the interest expense. So let's look at the solvency ratios. How well do we feel about our ability to pay off our long-term debts? So we're gonna have four solvency ratios. The first three are going to be some kind of debt ratios. All right, our first solvency ratio is called debt ratio. So the debt ratio is simply total assets or total debt divided by total assets. So we're going to take the total liabilities. I'm going to grab the total liabilities divided by the total assets. And what we have, this is going to be a percentage. So it says for every dollar of assets, we have financed it by 66% of liabilities in 2025. But we see that we financed more liabilities, had more debt in 2024. So we did about 77% or 78% of our total uh, assets were financed by debt. Now let's look at debt to equity ratio. Debt to equity is the same kind of idea, except we're only looking at total liabilities versus the total equity. How do we compare how much liabilities or debt that we have versus how much equity we have? So here we're taking total liabilities or total debt divided by the equity. And we end up with, this is gonna be a number. So for every dollar of equity, we are go ahead and borrow. We're borrowing about $2 of liabilities. So you can see this is 3.51 in 2024. So for every dollar of equity, we borrowed an additional three and a half dollars of liabilities. Now we can think about this in a different way. If we add equity on top, we'll end up with the total assets. And so if we take the total assets divided by total equity, we're gonna get the equity multiplier. The total assets divided by total equity. And you'll end up with exactly one more to get equity multiplier. Now equity multiplier is the idea, look, if we invest a dollar, then we get to control total assets. So we can control total assets of 2.98. You see, we can just take debt to equity plus one and we get the equity multiplier. So we take one dollar of equity and we borrow $3.51 of liabilities, and so we get to control $4.51 of total assets. 
So this is really three ways we can think about how much debt we have. So for the first, uh, for the two years we have, and all three ratios give the same kind of direction, we had more debt in 2024 and we have a little bit less debt in 2025. Maybe that was intentional, maybe that's what they wanted, or maybe they had enough net income where it grew their assets where they didn't have to finance it with so much debt. All right, the last one is sometimes uh, put in an activity ratio, but here it also relates to how much debt we have, long-term debt, how much interest we pay. So we're gonna take the earnings before interest and taxes divided by interest expense. So I have the numbers down below here. So I'm gonna take EBIT, earnings before interest and tax, divided by the interest expense. So this tells us, kind of in uh, theoretical terms, how many times we could have paid off our interest expense with our existing operating income. So it's eight times in the current year, but it's only 6.33 times in the previous year. So we had more debt, more interest coverage was harder to cover. We could only cover it 6.3 times rather than eight times. So this is how you think about the solvency of a company and our long-term debt. Hey, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.